We're recording. Hello, I'm Paul Vanuk from Recording Magazine. Welcome to our latest video review. Today, we're taking a look at the SEM25A Pro Mark II Studio Monitors from ATC, which I also review in the October 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. Based in Gloucestershire, England, ATC Loudspeakers has been building innovative speakers and cutting-edge components for concertgoers, audiophiles, and professional audio engineers since 1974. The latest ATC offering is the SEM25A Pro Mark II, which integrates a brand new tweeter design into an already popular industry standard. The SEM25A Pro Mark II is a 242-watt, three-way active studio monitor powered by a discrete ATC MOSFET Class AB amp pack designed to offer a broad dynamic range with extended high frequencies and low distortion. The levels are kept in check thanks to an internal FET-based limiter, and the amplifier is kept cool by a large rear passive heatsink. Despite being a three-way design, the speaker is surprisingly compact, yet it does weigh in at a hefty 55.2 pounds, this means it will require the use of a robust speaker stand. As such, for this review, I was sent a pair of sound anchor stands to set them on. You can also read my short review of the Sound Anchors ADJ Adjustable Wide Bass Monitor Stands in the October 2023 issue. The SEM25A Promark II features a textured black MDF enclosure. On the front, you will find three of the company's proprietary handmade drivers. There is a 6.5-inch short-coil low-frequency driver, a 3-inch soft-dome mid-range driver, and the updated 1-inch soft-dome tweeter. A fourth-order, critically dampened, phase-compensated crossover is set at 380 Hz and 3.5 kHz respectively. On the side of each speaker, you will find a side-firing bass port. The new in-house designed SH25-76S tweeter, developed in 2015, uses an upper and lower suspension to better control the motion of the voice coil and the dome. This allows for an even narrower gap between the magnet and the coil, which according to ATC, results in higher magnetic flux, which extends the high frequency response and reduces third order harmonic distortion. This makes the original model's already respected, fast, precise, high-end response even better. The horizontal layout of the SEM25A Promark II, with its bass driver and side-firing bass port on one side, and the over-under mid-tweeter layout on the other, does require you to purchase a left and a right model. Logically, that means that this monitor is sold in pairs, although you can purchase individual units if you want to use one as a center channel or in an immersive audio setup. Each monitor comes with a power cable, a cloth protection bag, and a small foam port bung. This base port plug effectively makes the monitor a sealed box. It provides about a dB and a half of attenuation at 80 Hz, while also increasing the 45 Hz range by about a dB. This simple physical solution helps control low-end buildup in smaller spaces while maintaining the speaker's fullness. On the rear of each speaker, you will find variable pots for a 3 dB 40 Hz bass boost and a 6 dB input trim. The input connections are balanced XLR. You will also find an LED-equipped power switch and an IEC main socket. I've been using the ATC SEM25A Promark II Studio monitors here in my studio, Moss Garden Music, for a number of months now for tracking, mixing, and auditioning tracks in various styles. Despite their smaller footprint, they can crank and fill a space with lush, full sound without even breaking a sweat. I pushed them briefly to 102 dB and they retained their clarity with zero distortion or breakup, which was quite impressive. I felt like I could easily keep going, but I do value my hearing. Nicely, whether you're listening at 65 dB or 90 dB and above, they retain a great tonal consistency. And this is also true as you move in and out of the sweet spot. No matter where you are in the room, this tonal consistency is scary good. And to say that the high end is precise and detailed is an understatement. I found the SEM25A Promark II to be clean, 
dimensional, and appropriately bright. They're not harsh or cutting in any way unless the source material or instrument was itself bright and cutting. All this to say, these monitors do a very honest job of representing a source, especially the top end, without pushing it or rounding it and making it sound pretty. In addition to the new tweeters, the magic of the SEM25A is, and was, in its highly dimensional, reach out and touch it, mid-range representation. Compared to other, similar three-way monitors, I did find the low mids to be a little bit more forward than I'm used to. This wasn't a detriment, but it was something that I did have to get used to in my room. And overall, I did like the focused force and punch that it added. Despite being only a 6.5 inch ported woofer, I found the low end of the SEM25A Pro Mark II full, firm and punchy, rather than boomy or pushed. While they're not pseudo sub-like, they do offer a glimpse of what's down low. While they're certainly usable without a sub, if I was using them in a larger treated space, I would probably be inclined to add a subwoofer for just a little bit more low end reach. I did try boosting the low end EQ on the back, but ultimately in my room, I had better mixing results with the low end set flat. When recalling some of my recent mixes, I found a few where I might've overmixed my vocals and some where I might've undermixed my bass and kick drum a dB or two. This means that these speakers did their job well and helped me nail both critical elements. I also really found that the mid-range dimensionality helped with panning decisions as well as minute level adjustments. It's easy to hear why this monitor has become an industry standard in discerning pro studios for almost a decade. The best way I can describe them is the new ATC SEM25A Pro Mark II, now with greater clarity and less distortion. If you'd like to learn more about them, stop by atc.audio. Also, be sure to check out my review of the ATC SEM25A Pro Mark II, as well as the Sound Anchors monitor stands in the October 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us the thumbs up below, and better yet, subscribe to Recording's YouTube channel for further video reviews, product comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Then head on over to recordingmag.com for the best in all things recording, where you can subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 37th year. We'll see you soon.